Hey folks, welcome back. Tonight we're continuing our Brutal Difficulty first playthrough of Space Haven Alpha 14. Let's get started. So we're in the middle of it. We just established a couple of important mining operations here. We're still waiting for Lucky to heal a little bit from his hauler slashes that he has. And we have a trade going on with the Merchant Federation ship Asthma, which is an interesting ship name, um, to pick up. What are we picking up from them? I forgot. Tech blocks and some energy. We might also want to consider buying water from them. They do have water that's not super, super expensive. And buy like six water units. We don't have to go too crazy. We are bringing another unit of ice on board. I'm going to pick up more as we continue to travel. We got our hyperdrives fixed, which is good because we kind of left the other sector in a hurry. Uh, micrometeoroids are super rude. Okay, we're going to shut down. We're going to suspend our mining operations until the shower passes and so nobody gets a concussion this time. That wastes a lot of crew hours. Um, let's leave the hatches open until something actually gets hit. Oh, we had a... We're using one of our tech blocks to fix the CO2 producer. Love to see that. Okay. We gotta figure out what to do with the other two tech blocks. I don't know yet. Here's the water coming on. It's pretty good. Storage is getting a little more full. That's also a good thing to see. Um, I think we're gonna sell these guys some biomatter if they're interested. Would you like some of our recycled waste? You would. 300 credits. I'll take that. Um, we'll take another blue crystal for that, I think. Or do we just keep the money? Let's take the blue crystal. We got a little bit of money. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. We're giving them some kind of energy, and we're getting a more useful kind of energy. Here we go. What do we have available in terms of technology that we haven't built yet? I feel like there should be some things. Um, we have the advanced assembler. We don't actually have the optronics fabricator yet, though, for some reason. Um, let me check on that real quick. I think we stopped that line of research because we wanted advanced nutrition first. I think we need to get the optronics fabricator online. We'll wait for the advanced nutrition to finish. I think that's all right. That was a real short meteorite shower. No complaints there. Okay, we got that. We got that. And I think Lucky... Still healing from his four hauler slashes. Hauler slashes are pretty big debuff, apparently. Let's, um, let's look at his conditions. Oh, he's got three chronic wounds, too. Let's actually see if the... Okay, the Merchant Federation ship doesn't have a medical bed. I think having some medical service for him, even like a couple hours, would be really beneficial if he got rid of some of these chronic wounds. That would be really good. And he'd probably also get rid of his protein deficiency while he was at it. So the next time we see a ship that has the medical service, we should consider, depending on the circumstances, whether there's like... Um, enemy ships in the sector and stuff like that. We'll try to get some medical service. Bringing on some more raw materials here. Very good. I think the uh, question I'm wondering is, do we want to get a third grow bed online? I feel like we're producing enough food right now that our crew doesn't starve, and that's plenty. And we have a limited supply of water, so I think we're good where we're at. I don't think we want to build another grow bed just yet. Probably soon, though. Like, once we... If we find a place to buy ice, and we buy, like, five or six ice units, then we're definitely going to get another grow bed online. Um, again, just looking through the systems... We should also think about our hull, hull integrity at some point, because eventually the pirates and slavers are going to catch up with us at an inopportune moment like they did the first time, and our ship's going to get clobbered if we don't have a little bit more defense. So we should think about another hull stabilizer. How much is that? Two tech blocks, two energy blocks. That's steep. 
But those don't give hit points, right? Uh, that's not a tall stabilizer, that's a door. There we go. Give 66 hit points is what we have right now. Special resources were out of food. No stocked food facility or no permission to eat. Yeah, we're not gener Okay, maybe we aren't producing enough food. Oh, Lucky's, Lucky's, Lucky, look at this Lucky bounce back from like 30 hit points to 50 now. So I'm pretty happy about that. I'm real happy to see that. Um, put Gordon on the away team, but we never actually gave him a weapon. Let's fix that. Even though I'm going to take him off the away team now. Can't use that, right? No. We're giving Gordon a pistol. He's our backup away team person. Uh, but let's, we're going to put Lucky back on duty. Now that he's, um back to normal. So Lucky is going back to this shift and Gordon is going back to shift two. What do we got here? Some base materials, carbon, very nice. Try to get the merchants to stick around in case we want anything else from them. We see some ice in the next sector. That's pretty cool. Really on the fence about the third grow bed. Let's at least start building the infra blocks for it, even if we don't want to build it right away. So we can make another, that's another three infra blocks from scrap. We really want another five infra blocks or six infra blocks, right? So that's five infra blocks. That's six infra blocks from scrap, which is going to use up 12 infra scrap. Yeah, that's good. Oh, we also have um, energy scrap available. Let's, um, we can actually make a blue crystal from energy scrap. our crew's doing on board the ship here. They're just chilling mostly. Got some industry going on. I think we have the capacity for another grow bed. It seems like people are just idling a lot or just hanging out talking to each other, which is fine. I mean, they're getting some social activity in their lives, but um, I'm just saying I think we have the capacity in terms of available crew labor to run another grow bed. Okay. I'm gonna come back for that derelict. We've got to remember that that's not explored yet. Again, the, we're gonna keep the Merchant Federation around, just for general pur purposes, in case we run out of something and need an emergency purchase. Some good ice supplies here. How's our raw chemicals look? We're 12. We got plenty of everything now, ever, actually, except for like energy and water. Of the things that we're lacking currently. We could start thinking about manufacturing chemicals for profit. I think that might be worthwhile. I think let's do that. Uh, so let's go up to like four chemicals to start with and see how that treats us. Electronics fabricator. Ooh, very nice. Okay, so with this, uh, we're short of tech block. These guys still have no more tech box available. We bought the supply that they had already. Okay, our, most of our crew seems kind of busy, so that's pretty good. See a couple people helping with logistics when they're out of other stuff to do. We would have liked to get an early, early robot online, but we can't really afford it. It costs too many tech box and things.
not really cost effective to have crew members do logistics though. You really want them doing skilled tasks. Because the robot, all it takes is energy. So as long as you have energy, you can just keep running the robot and giving it tasks. You don't have to take breaks or anything. Except to go back to their charger for a minute. That's a pirate vessel. We're going to leave them alone. They're guarding that particular stockpile of raw chemicals for whatever reason. That's fine by us. Let's check out the derelict. Um, I think this is a little bit better entry point. It's kind of a tough call. These are both hull breaches, which are okay. I think this is going to give us a little bit better visibility into what's going on throughout most of the ship. Didn't make a huge difference one way or the other. Make sure we clear all the rooms here, all the little rooms here on our way past. It looks like the ship might be empty because it's a very small ship. Yeah, okay. I paused it there just in case there was like a huge nest just jammed into that one little room, which happens occasionally. But it looks like we're fine. Uh, refined hyperfuel, very nice. Fruit, very nice. Electronics component and plastic, that's an easy 300 credits. We wouldn't have to spend any effort for. So this is all good stuff. And there's not much here that we need in the way of salvage, I think. We could theoretically get some infra scrap since we're down to 10 now, but we can also just manufacture infra blocks, so we don't really need to per se. Lots of unused raw materials. Um, yeah, so that's it for this derelict. There's no energy scrap on board. What the heck? Edward had a mental breakdown. Everybody on the crew got whammied by the siren world. Holy crap. Oh my god. Except for Gordon, I guess. I'm trying. I'm trying. Ugh. I don't know if we're even going to survive this. There's going to be so many people like setting fires and doing bad stuff on board, and we got a pirate in the sector. So, like, if we're not able to um, fly anywhere, we could be in trouble. Okay, we're going to stop here for a minute and try to recover. Let's have everybody get their spacesuits on so at least we can kind of deal with fires. Unless the people who are following orders. Okay, we don't have any fires going on right now, as long as we don't have any... I had to open my mouth. The nice thing is they actually fight their own fires. Like, one guy will set it... One of the Siren World guys will set a fire, and then the other one will put it out. <laughs> so that's helpful, at least. And even fix the table. That was nice of him. And the shuttle bay. How's that word? Schizophrenia. I'm really seeing things and hearing them too. There's an alien everywhere, I swear. 18% <laughs> accident rate, minus 20% work speed, minus 22% accuracy, cannot eat, cannot work, unable to sleep, cannot be drafted. They each get like a slew of mental conditions. Unable to work, insomnia, lonely, hungry, aliens haunt me. I mean, some of this stuff is normal. Awake. They're permanently awake. I think they all get permanent awake consciousness. I can't believe every single member of my crew got hit. That's so unlucky. I've never seen that happen. At least not with a 
six man crew, seven man crew. Oh, we were lucky we had one person that uh, survived okay. Okay, we have two people that are back to normal now, Edward and Gordon. I think as long as as long as more than half the crew is still crazy, I'm going to keep the spacesuits on. By the way, we got to watch their little symbols that they do. It's cuz it's just kind of a fun thing like they make they they talk about spirals and like alien creatures coming from space or whatever. Um and they wave their arms up in the air like they're surrendering to the alien creature. I don't know. Okay, we got three back to normal. I think we have to let them have the spacesuits off because the those three guys are two of those guys are lucky and Edward are exhausted and lucky still got some health issues. Like the chronic wound. I just hope they don't set a fire in the bedroom that they can't deal with. Siren World effect just takes time to wear off. We gotta keep our fingers crossed that nothing bad happens in that time. So far it hasn't been too bad. We had one fire in the cryo bay and one fire in the shuttle bay, which are fairly non-damaging areas. Pretty isolated, especially the since it's, it was a smaller part of the cryo bay. Kind of wasting energy right now, just chilling out here, but it's worth it. You'd rather not go into a sortie, you know, get into some kind of dangerous situation with all this going on. So if they don't set fires to the grow beds or something. Some of them are still working. Nadia's still chugging along like a trooper, even though she's completely crazy. So only three of them back to normal. I'll put it on 4X and we're just going to jam the space bar if anything bad happens. Just have to wait. Um, go four back to normal. But there's like one guy left that's... Um... Okay, we're down to just Saul now. He's, not, he's an away team member though, so we need to be able to draft him in order to get stuff done. So we are going to wait for him. I'm happy that that was relatively uneventful. Could have been really bad. Especially if the pirates came on us at the same time. Probably would have had to just give them whatever resources they wanted. Um, Saul, you need some sleep, buddy. Maybe like an hour or two of sleep. I know what kind of research you can get done in this condition, but it's probably not going to be too fruitful. Okay. He's getting better. Um, okay, everybody's going to bed anyway, so we're good. Saul's starting to get hit by the deficiency, the food deficiency as well. Partly because he couldn't eat for a couple days there. Oh, I guess it was like a day. Can't wait till we get our artificial meat online. It's gonna help us out because we won't get these debuffs that lower our cruise max hit points anymore. Okay, I think we're good. Let's launch. Our second shift guys are gonna drive while the uh, first shift crew is sleeping it off. Okay, what do we got here in terms of neighboring sectors still? We don't want to go up this way because that's going back to another sector we've already uh, passed. We do want to go down here. 
There's also potentially stuff up here. I'm going to kind of make the circuit of the sector as far as this. Okay, that's a dead end. So we're just going to pick up the ice in the middle here, and then we'll double back. We got plenty of green crystals, so we're fine. We used up, unfortunately, about half of our blue crystals between the infrablock manufacturing that we did, which is probably accounting for most of it, and the Energium that we um, used up just sitting in the uh, empty sector. Um, I think let's work on our third grow bed set. Can afford it in terms of water. We can. We got five units of ice now. Five, wall, four, five. I feel like this vent should be closed. It shouldn't go to the go directly to a gas scrubber all the time. Okay, because the, we want the CO2 to get to reach the plants on the far end. I'm going to have to actually move the scrubber. Okay, we got to wait. we got to stay parked here as long as this whole, whole construction is still going on. Oh, I forgot to put windows over here, too. Let's get that done. I like to have it so that it lines up nicely with the grow bed. I think we should probably put a little carter going across here just for the sake of, like, logistical efficiency. Yeah, that's much better. Okay, so... Go ahead and we'll just wall this off. That could be its own little compartment, and then there'll be... Um, I guess we have enough in for blocks that we can afford to put another door here. And then we could eventually have another pod bay over here. But we could actually make this a double wide. Let's actually make this a... Well, it doesn't matter because this thing's in the way on this side, so... Um, while I'm looking at that, let's fix this missing wall slot that's been there forever. I think we're going to do this one over here. Missing one whole square. our construction. There we go. It's like, I know we have enough whole blocks. Okay. So we actually somehow managed to use all of our infra blocks. I'm not entirely sure how we did that. I guess we built two, three, four, five. We should have only used like five infra blocks doing that, unless they increase the cost of doors or something. Um, I guess we, oh, we used the build tools. That probably accounted for some of our infra block usage. I, I would imagine, I guess. Okay. Uh, let our guys, or are we team? Okay, they're about to just get up for the day, so let's get underway. Doubling back, we're going to stop and get Carbon and check out this derelict here. Yeah, where was the other limb that we had to go down? This one. Nice if we could find a tech block in here. Okay, we got that. We'll park that over here. Let's get this one unit of carbon while they're away. Uh, Gordon could probably work on that. Yep, 
guess they got too much other stuff to do on board. Uh, we see a lot of crawlers around. Could indicate a nest, but not necessarily. I mean, at this point in the game, pretty much everything, every ship that we board that has aliens on it is going to have a nest, probably. If not two. This is a good arrangement because they're kind of not able to get to us directly. They have to go around this little zigzag. Actually, not all of them wanted to come visit us here, so i gotta go find them. I don't know how those guys can get to us. Um, I'm a bit nervous about this little dead end, this little cul-de-sac here. Um... Let's not have lucky tanking. Okay. Uh, Nadia got bit a little bit. That's unfortunate. She'll be alright though. As long as we don't take any more damage. Uh, so far, so good. We don't see any more aliens. Looks like we kind of cleared them all out. Okay, that was basically a freebie. We just had to have the patience to kill a bunch of crawlers. And we got a little bit of water and soft locks, electronics, and some corpses. Nothing super, super useful. Why is somebody from work instant messaging me at like 1 a.m. on a... or midnight on a Saturday night? Don't know. Don't care. I'm going to ignore it. They want to, they like desperately need to get a hold of me. They can actually call me. The team has my contact information. Maybe, saw that I, maybe they saw that I was online because of the activity from my the messaging app on my phone or something. Uh, we actually need some infra blocks. Let's pick a few up if we can here. Oh, actually, we're low on blue crystals, so we're not going to stay the night here. We got to go. Um, so we're going to suspend our salvage. Just take what we've already grabbed. Oh, we got our... we got this online, so let's start this. This doesn't cost any energy to grow plants, technically, so... Uh, let's get into that. Amazed we still have no plant surplus, even of, like, the vegetables. Um, I kind of want to let my away team rest a little bit, but not too long because we're low on blue crystals here. I have them have something to eat too. Okay. All right, they're good now. Let's launch. So the next ship we land, the next sector we land in has a derelict, they'll be able to explore it right away. But ideally, we'd like to land somewhere that has blue crystals we can mine. Um, we might actually want to trade with somebody if we can't find a blue crystal cluster. Let's continue jumping around for a little bit and see if we can find one. We have some options here. Let's trade with the civilians. We haven't traded with them yet at all. Uh, actually, these are guaranteed blue crystals, so we're going to stop here first. And we get some green crystals as well. Six of them. Nice. Take that. Gordon's on it. I don't think he has mining as his first priority. Uh, micrometeorites, super rude. At least the guy that's in the pod isn't one of the away team members, so I'm not super worried. Okay. Um, hatches closed. Let's go down to 3x here. Look, you can take care of that. That's fine.
Where's the fire? Fire in the... There's like a hole in this wall. Okay. I guess that wall was what got, what got caught on fire. Still haven't sealed that breach yet. Can we get that fixed, guys? Lucky's, on, Lucky's working on it. Okay, meteorite shower is done. So as soon as we get that breach fixed, we're in good shape. There we go. And then we can queue this as well. This room is just going to be cold for a minute until the air circulates and everything evens out. Because all the air got evacuated from here. So it'll warm up. A little bit anyway. It's not going to be super, super hot in here. Okay, we're back up to six blue crystals. I'm feeling more comfortable about that than I was about the two blue crystals we had a minute ago. I think at some point what I'd like to do is... Oh, power capacity node research is done. Cool. Not sure if that's a thing that's really necessary anymore with the new system. Um, because the only thing... I mean, I guess we could use it for, like, weapons and shields. Probably still want to use it for that purpose. But we don't really need to worry so much about our industry causing ship-wide power outages as much as it used to, at least. I think. Okay, where to next? You can come back and mine this stuff. Let's continue exploring first. It'll be a nice surprise for us when we get back from this other satellite sector. Pirate ship. These guys are both fleeing the pirates, apparently. Ooh, we got a uh, station we can trade with over here. And we actually have a bunch of trading trading opportunities here. Um, and if one of them wants to buy plastic, then we're in for some good times. Okay, let's see what these guys want. The Rab and Victor. They don't want plastic. They do want our one assault rifle that we have. They also kind of want the hyperfuel. They have tech blocks for sale. We're going to sell them the one unit of hyperfuel so they stay in the sector. We're probably going to end up buying those tech blocks and a couple blue crystals. But for now, I just want to keep them here until we figure out what we're doing derelict-wise. And until the civilians uh, also get into the sector so we can see what they have to trade. Oh, lots of good stuff there. Two space food, two water. I mean, that's not crazy, but it's pretty useful. Looks like the ship is empty. Uh, we see some more food there, maybe biomatter or something. Space food, fertilizer, and a whole block. Okay, a little bit of free stuff. Nothing crazy. Uh, five units of space food, that's not bad. And no energy scrap, unfortunately. I'm going to try to get some info scrap here if we have time. Oops, clicked on the wrong thing. I didn't mean to click on an individual crew member while I was zoomed all the way out here. Oh, since our shuttle wasn't available, they sent a shuttle over to pick up their refined hyperfuel. I guess I couldn't delay them as much as I thought I would. Um... Let's see... We could buy green crystals, we don't really have to. I really want to wait until the civilians get here to see if they have better prices, but I'm afraid these guys will leave the sector. Let's queue some uh, biomatter sales, because they're giving us pretty good prices actually on biomatter.
set it to go trading with three guys on board. I guess they just wanted to visit the Merchant Federation. CS Voidbearer. These guys have medical service, so we might want to consider getting medical service for our wounded guys. Oh, look at that. 13 tech blocks. They're super cheap. Super cheap. Oh, I'd love to see that. Okay, and they want plastic. We are rolling in dough now. Okay. We're going to sell all six plastic units. They don't have the money for that, but that's okay. We'll work something out. By something, I mean we're going to take all your tech blocks. And some blue crystals as well. Let's take like three blue crystals and then fill the rest of the hole with tech blocks because that's the thing that we can do here. Yeah, all right. And I think with this transaction, I'm feeling good enough that I'm going to sell a couple more hull blocks here. And then we're going to make another separate transaction to sell chemicals. And let's also take a look at what we can sell to the these guys again. They also want chemicals. And let's sell some chemicals because we're going to bring a bunch more blue crystals and stuff on board. Um, this is so good. This is so good. I just hope we can get all these trades done before some crazy pirate or something shows up in the sector. Um, let's look at Lucky and Saul's statuses here and the conditions that they have. So we have three chronic wounds on Lucky. Three chronic wounds on Saul. I think they both need the service. I'm not sure what the service unit is. Is it in hours? Let's wait till we get some of these trades done first. Shuttle's got a busy schedule. Fortunately, this ship is very small. We can actually get a bunch of good salvage off of the ship. Super easy to get because the ship is so tiny. Um, I think we're going to go ahead and just strip everything off of it if we have time. This is very efficient because everything's right next to the airlock. So it makes a lot of sense for us to get extra salvage here. Um, okay, I don't. I think we're done with our trading with the civilians. Let's go ahead and engage them for medical service. Let's buy 12 to start with and see what that does for us. Okay, the two of them are about to board that civilian shuttle. That's good. Now, we can force them to return to our ship early if we need to because of pirates or something. Yeah, these guys are going to get some good, proper quality medical care there. I'm happy about that. Um... We want to buy anything or sell anything to the Raban here while they're still in the sector. We can sell them some more hull blocks for money. And another blue crystal. What are we doing on base metals and everything? We're good. Here we still have the opportunity to buy a whole bunch of tech blocks. So with this with this new influx of tech blocks that we have, we should start working on building up our industry chain because we actually have the technology already for the Optronics Fabricator as well as the Advanced Assembler. So we can actually start manufacturing tech blocks now, which is huge. Um, the only thing I'm not sure about is whether we're going to have enough energy blocks, but we can manufacture those too if we get, our, get all of our factories built. So I'm not super worried. I'm going to leave this space reserved for another shuttle over here. We want everything to be close to this node if we can, the large power node. Or to this other node over here. I don't think we can fit much more over there, probably. Unless we move some of this stuff back, which we might. Hmm, thinking, thinking. 
I think we need to flesh out this area here. I'm just going to put a whole chunk of ship on here. And we're going to fill that with... Do we need that much? We might not need that much. Let's try to make it a little bit neater. I think this is going to be plenty. Let's see. Just kind of guesstimating the size. Um, and I think once we get that online, we're also going to want to build some shields, probably. Uh, oh, well, we don't have the research quite done yet, but uh, that'll be mm, soon on our to-do list. It's weird how in the new version of the game, I'm building up to the industry chain before I actually get the generator just because of my energy availability. The Void Bearer. That's such a cool ship name. I like that name. How are these guys doing now? So Saul is down. He's still got two chronic wounds. Let's try to buy some more medical service. We can afford it. Maybe I gotta come back here immediately. There we go. We are in a radiation sector, so we gotta monitor our temperature a little bit here. Where's the radiation coming in? It's coming in along this side. Are you mass supported? Uh, yeah, I got plenty. I got 2776 out of 3200. I got room. Good call, though. It's definitely something that's good to check on. Okay. These guys are both almost fully healed. Um, we got two hours of service left. I'm gonna buy them another two hour, another four hours between the two of them. So I'm assuming it's man hours, not actual hours, or you know, patient hours. Okay, I think these guys should both be... Lucky still has a chronic wound. See on his way back. Why is he... Why is it that he still has a... It's weird that they still have a chronic wound, even though it's saying that they're... that they have no medical needs. Let's go for two two more hours. Okay, the other the Raban has left the sector. That's okay. Let's see if we can get some more blue crystals from the Void Bear here. Got one more blue crystal on offer. That's like all of our money though. But we can trade for chemicals for it. Which I think is worth. We could get another tech block, but I don't think we need them anymore. We just need energy, energy, energy. So now we're going to start running into energy problems because we don't have an X1 generator yet. Maybe we actually buy some tech blocks to deal with that issue. How much money? We're kind of broke, though. Just spent all of our money on tech blocks. So we'll hold off on that. We'll find more tech blocks in other places. We've already bought most of theirs, so they're not giving us amazing prices anymore like they were a minute ago. Um, I want to make sure we put some life support over here before I forget about it. I was waiting for this wall to get built. I really don't like this construction of this room, the way it butts up with the generator like that. Um, I'll have to try to fix that. I think we're going to put a double door back here, maybe?
I don't really want to double door there. I think we need to allow some room for the generator to be rebuilt as a bigger version later. I think if we just eliminate this wall, we'll have enough room. This one little wall here. I think that'll be fine. Um, so for now, we're going to make a single door back here, and we're going to wall that off. And then we're going to wall this off. I don't think this is going to be enough for two machines. I think we got to rethink or add a little more hole. Okay, we got our guys back, and they're really in good shape. Everybody's at full health. Look at this. Except for Nadia's got a little protein deficiency, but that's it. Um, the only thing we could sell them here is a rifle. But I don't want to sell that. Uh, we could actually sell them some space food. Sell them like four units of space food just to make back some of the money that we spent here. That'll give us another 900 credits. Let's do that. We brought on a lot of free salvage while we were doing those trades and stuff too. While we were doing the medical service. Uh, these guys are also giving us good prices on biomatter, so let's sell some of that to make money as well. We got three tra three trades queued in them already, so we'll let that go before we do any more. Okay, so Optronics that can go here, and then the Advanced Assembler. We have to extend this by one more. It's unfortunate because I didn't want it to butt up there because it's going to look ugly, but that's okay. I think it'll be all right. And we're going to fill this in eventually anyway. I also need to check where my power grids are at. Okay, we got good coverage. This actually covers the whole aft section of the ship, so we're fine. Don't even have to worry about it. Alright, um... There we go. Okay, let's look at our research topics again. We're still working on advanced nutrition and artificial meat after that. We've got to stockpile energy now so that we can work on the energy refinery in the X1. That's our next big objective. And uh, we could think about putting shields online, but those are expensive in terms of energy, I think. We've done all of our trades with the civilians. Sweet. Okay, Optronics Fabricator. We'll keep this to a minimum right now. Uh, producer, we have less than two tech blocks, or we have less than one energy block. Very cool. Okay, so now we can just build stuff, and our whole batteries and solar to offset the shields. Um, maybe. I don't know if that works on the shields. I think the shields will run on advanced power now, so I have a feeling that the, the solar won't help, but it will help with the, all of the ship's power in general, like all the heaters and everything, which will improve our efficiency overall. Um, it's an interesting idea, because if we invest a little bit of uh, time, research time in solar power, we'll get a lot of energy efficiency profit in the long run. So maybe we bump that up in our list. I think that's not a bad idea. Let's. I do still want to finish the artificial meat first so we can get rid of the protein deficiencies. Um, and then when we get through that, we'll see how we feel about the solar panel versus the X1. Okay. Um... All right, Void Bear, you've been a great trading partner. We salute you. We're out of here. Okay, we got this uh, station over here. I forgot about this outpost. We got a lot of opportunity to trade with the outpost, maybe, too. I bet we're going to make some big bucks here. Depending on what they actually want. What is that? Is that a... That might be like a prison base. 
Oh no, it's a it's a merchant federation, so it's not gonna be prison. It's a a baron station. The MFB Gravy. That's a great name for a merchant federation station. If it had a, a locomotive, it would be called the Gravy Train. Um, okay, so we're gonna sell all of our plastic here. We're gonna buy a boatload of carbon. Um, and some blue crystals. Where's blue crystals? There they are. Yeah, so this is good stuff. Um, what else do we sell? We're gonna sell all of our hull blocks that we have available in exchange for... Let's make that a separate transaction. Uh, we'll sell our meat though here. Human meat. We've got two other friendlies coming in this sector. One of whom is probably the civilian ship that we just traded with. The, sh the ship's been through a lot. It's got the scars to prove it. I like that. It's very cool. Um, we're gonna go ahead and contain that. So the loose toe you've been collecting, yeah. We don't need those anyway. Okay, that's done with that trade. We're going to sell all of these and our chemicals because we have plenty of raw materials for both. We're a little bit short on raw chemicals, actually. We don't have raw chemicals, do they? No. They do. So this is just all profit. Oh, man. We're going to be so rich. Uh, we don't need to buy all. Let's let's focus more on the blue crystals. I think that's a bigger deal. We can even sell the biomatter here. They're giving us good prices on that too. Uh, they also have decent prices on green crystals, but I think we're okay there. So what are we building next? Um, let's see. I think we want a second hull stabilizer. We should get that work done. The interesting thing about hull stabilizers in this version of the game is that you can't build them next to each other, unlike most other things that have to be within a certain radius of something else. These guys are mutually exclusive. So here would be a spot that we could build a hull stabilizer. Let's look at our outline, though. I think we could fit more system points on the ship overall if we can make our hull stabilizer be out on the corner here. It actually will let me put it there, but that's off the board, I think. Yeah. So this goes actually almost out, almost all the way to the edge of the board, so this is actually the furthest out we could possibly put it, which is not enough for it to leave room for another stabilizer on the other side, so... You can put it anywhere in this area, as long as it's this far out. I think this is okay, here. So we're making a- we're gonna make a space for that. So we just got a- we just got a big, uh, power spike. Or, um, survival ability spike. So we're gonna take on a ton of blue crystals here. And we're going to start working towards energy. High body temperature for Gordon working in industry. Okay, we can put another thermal regulator here. Might also want to have another vent going out to this neighboring room. This is fine. Uh, I think so, anyway. Is it? No, I, I need to put it back one more because of the way that the... 
don't know, I can... I just, I just did build one more hole over here in order to make this work. I think... Okay, thinking for a second. If I put a wall across here, I could put a door there. I don't need the extra hole. So if I... Then this could be a door. Cannot build there because I can't overlap the hole stabilizer. Okay. I guess we're going to build the extra hole after all. So, Or I could just uh, move this back a bit. That's fine. Um, cool. Oh, we got some other trading partners in here. The Ace of Spades. The Ace of Spades. Um, we got plastic available for them. How much carbon do we have? 14. Let's increase our plastic production threshold from 3 to, I think, 5. We also have the Void Bear who we've already traded with. Let's sell some... They don't really want biomatter. I'm going to sell these guys some tech scrap, because I want them to stick around for a while until our industry has some time to crank out more materials for trade. Uh, we should see what they have for sale, too. Um, nothing that we really need right now. We could think about buying another two energy rods for our next hyper jump. Oh, shit, we got pirates in the sector. I wasn't paying attention. We can... Charge a hyperdrive, it's fine. This trade's not really critical. There are like there's two there's an armed station here and there's another armed ship in the sector. So if the pirates choose not to target us right away, it's possible that we could actually be protected from them. So I'm gonna stick around in the ship uh, one of the ships left. That was a civilian anyway. We still have the trade cube with these guys, we do. I'm gonna keep that trade queued to make sure that they stay in the sector if possible. I think the Merchant Federation will protect us from the pirates, but we'll see in a second. In the meantime, we're just manufacturing. Um... The military lines will definitely fight them, right? I'm not sure about the merchants, actually. Okay, they're every everybody's fighting the pirates. Perfect. That's what I was hoping for. I just hope they don't choose me as a target. Okay, they're going after... They're actually attacking multiple targets. Uh, I don't know about that strategy so much, but hey, you know, whatever works for... Whatever doesn't work for them. The Merchant Federation is actually going to try to board them. That's kind of cool. Oh, this is such a cool... This is so cool to watch. Look at all these, these projectiles and things flying, these shuttles. This is such an awesome battle. I love it. Uh, I'm going to save it here so we can like come back and take screenshots. I just want to create a new save. I'm actually disabling systems on board. They've destroyed one of the weapon systems. It's cool that they've tuned it now so that you can damage systems on the ship more easily without completely destroying the ship. It shot like one, one or two little individual pellets at us. Can you guys destroy their hyperdrives? That would be a good idea. Get him! Get him! I don't think they're gonna go for the hyperdrives. Doesn't look like it anyway. Uh, maybe. Oh, it looks like they're hitting the hyperdrives a little bit. I don't think they're gonna have them destroyed before they leave the sector, though. Looks like. We're going for the shields next. The <laughs> pirate ship is so borked. Look at all that. Okay, well, we didn't get any cool free stuff from the pirates getting blown up, but hey, we didn't get destroyed. We didn't have to leave the sector. It's very convenient to have these guys here to defend us. All right. 
That's the Rab and Victor who we already traded with earlier. Anything new to sell them? Not really. These guys we haven't really traded with yet. We're still trying to manufacture more plastic. Elena needs food. Fatty acids deficiency. Okay. We still don't have a surplus of vegetables, even though like two thirds of our grow beds are vegetables. So weird. Okay, she's got food in her stomach now, at least. One second, uh, let's just sell them the plastic that we have on board currently. And then we'll use that to buy, I guess, blue crystals. We want fatty acids. We could buy a unit of seeds and nuts, but it's so expensive. I don't think it's worth it. I think it's better if we just take on more blue crystals and buy our own stuff. We're going to buy the minimum that we need to make them have a non-negative balance here. There we go. We'll take the rest in cash, which we can then spend to buy cheaper crystals at the space station. Oh, these guys have energy blocks, do they? These guys do have cheap energy blocks. I think we're going to invest in a couple of these to save us some manufacturing time, although not too many. I think this is good. Okay. And it looks like this space station still wants plastic, so that's pretty nice for us. Our industry's got lots to do. Up a tile full of crates, raise logistics priorities for crew members. Yeah, we'll get it done, don't worry. Lots of stuff going on here. Just manufacturing for profit, selling, trading, watching pirates get obliterated. Uh, we have to care about our water supply a little bit. We're down to four water units, but we still have two ice. We should check if either of these guys have ice for sale. These guys have ice. So we're just going to load up on ice here, because we can. And we can also sell some more plastic here. And these guys are still giving us good prices on chemicals. Yeah, this is good stuff. Okay. Anything else we want here? We could probably conceivably take more chemicals on if we wanted to. We don't have to. We're taking on another thousand credits. Some of that is going to go right back into blue crystals. We're going to need lots of them. Uh, let's do a separate transaction to buy the blue crystals. I'm going to buy one or two green crystals too because we can afford to. Um, that's good. We're going to get more money in a minute so we can make more purchases. We did lose about half of our... Oh no, we actually built a new hull stabilizer, so our hit points are going up, not down. Or they're not... They weren't damaged in the first place. Okay, high body temperature, where was that? That was in this room, I guess. Oh, we still have that closed, because there was a fire in there earlier. Um... So we got more systems, that means we could put industry in other different sections of the ship by building another power node if we wanted to. I think... Power capacity node could be good. I think we want the X1s now. I think we got, we got a big pile of blue crystals, and I think we want... I think we want the X1 and the energy refinery. Energy refinery first, so that we can also make energy rods for traveling interstellar. These guys have energy rods, by the way. They do. They're pretty cheap here, too. Um, we still got two trades queued with them, so let's wait on that. A lot of heat going on in this area. Another normal regulator over here. It's 
Dude's extra durability is really going to help us when it comes to escaping pirates. We have to be careful that they don't target our hyperdrives, though, which is something that they can do now. Especially, which I imagine that they will do on Brutal Difficulty. Still working on catching up on logistics and industry and everything. Getting these this last trade done. Okay, that's done. Where does that leave us in terms of saleable goods? Plastics coming back up. We got three hull blocks available. Let's trade those. And then we could go for a couple more raw chemicals. We've used up a lot of carbon building trade goods, which is fine. We could go for even more blue crystals, and I think we should do that. Because we're using them up fast. Could also go for another green crystal. I think this is good. I wonder if, we should, if it would be worth it to build a second research facility. I think it could be. Maybe expand our lab here. We also could start doing the experiments for... Let's see. So for the energy refinery, let's start doing the experiments. She should start working on the workbench. Yeah, they're researching it now. Okay, we're going to wait till our away team rests for the night before we launch. Lucky, it's just not like beds. That's silly. These guys don't want any more biomatter, do they? Yeah, they do, actually. I'm going to sell them two more shipments of biomatter. In exchange for, guess what, more blue crystals. They want any scrap? We should check that out as well. We could sell the remains of our tech scrap and some hull scrap. Is that worth it? I don't know. We'll hang on to the hull scrap. We definitely want to hang on to the soft scrap. Okay, after this trade is done, then we're launching. All right, here we go. And our new hull stabilizer is mostly charged also, which is pretty nice. Uh, Lucky's health has gone down again, which I don't like to see too much. I don't know if we checked out this derelict yet or not. I think we did. I think, it was, I think this was a little, little tiny one that we saw before. Um, yeah, we'll pick up some more base metals. Should be a quick stop. turn off my work computer that's gonna make me crazy give me one second There's like a big doing like an upgrade over the weekend. So there's like some planned outages and things like that going on. So they're sending out a bunch of messages about that.
Uh, we should probably build a second mining pod. I'm going to tough this out because I do want the green crystals. Okay, we got all of our energy blocks. We've got our tech blocks and energy blocks manufactured. We got our hoe blocks and our plastic back up to five. And we still got eight blue crystals left. I'd say that's okay. Obviously, it'd be a little better if we had some more efficiency in our energy usage for the next one or something. What are we doing with the experiments over here? No active research project. Good. So we actually finished all the experiments we need for the energy refinery. Actually, that's probably where a bunch of our blue crystals went to the research for the energy refinery. Um, somebody's fixing that. Okay. It's good that they made it so that they can fix it without being immediately adjacent to it. That makes it a lot better. Less micromanagement that I have to do. More like rebuilding of things. And our guy out in the mining pod didn't even get a concussion. How cool is that? Okay, my work computer's off now. Uh, Lucky looked pretty tired there. I hope he's good to go on the away team. We'll have to quickly check if all of our guys are okay before we go. Ooh, we've got two derelicts here. A station, it looks like, and a ship. Let's park air on the side of parking closer to the corner of the map. Yeah, Lucky's a little bit tired, but our other three guys are okay, so we're going to go ahead with the mission. Oh, Siren World. Forget I said anything. We're leaving. It's weird, sometimes it doesn't... I guess it doesn't show it on the map anymore, but it still shows it here. Goodbye, Siren World. Okay, the pirates have just left. That's convenient for us. That's the Void Bear. Hey, Void Bear. Yeah, we got lots of resources we can scoop up on the way back here. Um, sure, we'll take this. I think Lucky needs a break. Let's. I'm gonna just assign him to like sleep for a couple hours. And let's have a meet. And more sleep. That should be fine. Solar flare. Uh, we'll wait for this one thing to be finished. Okay, he's coming back home because we started the hyperdrive. That's good. Zoom that far out. I bet. Uh, more carbon, very nice. And I think this might be the Void Bear again, or it could be a different civilian ship. I'm not sure. I think it's a different one, actually. This is the Tovarish, who I don't think we've seen yet. So I'm going to do that. We're going to trade with the Tovarish. Uh, do we need medical service? We don't, actually. They have blue crystals. They're not cheap. They got lots of raw chemicals. We have an adequate amount, though. We're going to sell two more plastic because we're bringing on three more carbon. And we're going to spend that money on two more blue crystals. 
And do we need anything else from them? Not really. Now we're good. Warden's mining skill should be leveling up. He's working on working up to four now. Who's the other one? Edward? He's at five already. That's cool. Okay, and we'll work on some Nova Metals and some Base Metals. And how do you guys feel about Biomatter? Good to hear. I think we should build a second research facility. I think our research is the main thing holding us up at this point. Because we're ready, like, we've got the resources to build, you know, another generator. And we also should start producing meat pretty soon so that our crew doesn't have protein deficiencies all over again. Armox Anvil has left the sector. That was the cultist ship that was hanging out. Uh, of course, the mining pod's in use, so they can't build that new hull right now. Oh, Lucky takes a break for a split second, and it gets right back in the pod. Oop, missed one square. Okay, we got the advanced nutrition. Very cool. Okay, now we're working on artificial meat. And I think we can work on that in the next sector. Let's see how our guys are. Let's wait till they get through their sleep cycle, the away team. So they're about to hit the end of their day. Still have inadequate supplies of all of our different foods. So weird. Loneliness and protein deficiency. Hopefully the loneliness will go away with sleep. Sleep is definitely a thing that can help with loneliness, sometimes. Okay, we're good now, so let's launch. Okay, we've got a pirate ship blocking our access to these beautiful green crystals. So we're going to go the other way and see what's there for now. Carbon and a derelict, not bad. So I'm thinking I want to get the X1 generator online, and then we can potentially get solar panels, and then after that. I think I want to work on the basic shields. We need to get stop getting impacted so much by meteoroid showers. That's kind of a big deal. Especially for our food supply. Can also get us in trouble in other ways. Like if we have a damaged hyperdrive, we're not able to leave the sector, things like that. Nice open large spaces, that's what I like to see. This is a nice kitchen design, although there's, I take it back, there's like beds in the kitchen for no reason, and there's a corpse there, so that's not really a good decorative item, I feel like. Good. 
weird engineering room design. Oh, hi. Uh, he didn't even see it coming. He was like, what? There we go. Our guys are getting pretty good with the weapons, I think. I gotta see what their skill level is now. Okay, meteoroids. Not such a fan of that. We're gonna blow up the ship while I'm on it, which is never a good time for me. Okay. Let's, um... Batten down the hatches over here. Since there's only three guys over here, let's have... Let's set the spacesuit mandate on. The good ship Mobius has been explored. Do we want to keep them over here until the shower is passed? Let's have them at least get the stuff on the shuttle before they leave. Maybe the shower will pass by then. Probably uh, on second thought. Maybe we're leaving in a hurry. It's a shame that we didn't get the carbon. We might come back for that in a minute. Uh, I'm not a fan of the fact that three of our guys just got left behind, but at least we, it means we get all the resources. Do we? No, we don't. I mean, it might be worth it to weather the solar flare. I don't know. Probably not. It's going to drain all of our energy from the energy nodes. Okay, we could conceivably do some mining here while waiting for these guys to gather the last of the resources from on board here. We'll probably get like one mining unit done. Let's try to finish the carbon. I think we can do it. Uh, nah. Let's get out of here. So as soon as he's got that carbon unit in hand, we're going to take off. It's not worth it weathering a solar flare for two carbon units, I think. But we still got to wait for this mining pod to come back. Come on, Lucky, hurry up. Oh, here it goes. Well, I guess we're sticking around for the solar flare. Um, let's... Spacesuit's on. How do you be careful? Oh my goodness. You need to get out of here. This is not a place for you to be right now. Okay. Uh, get over to the shuttle bay and get a suit on. Uh, we can turn off the hyperdrive. That wasn't terrible. We got some fires going on in our industry, obviously, but... Um, could have been worse. Didn't lose the generators, didn't lose the hyperdrives or nav. Didn't lose any of our grow beds. So, it's fine. I don't think we're going to stick around and salvage this. I think it's too expensive in terms of energy to hang around in the sector all day. Okay, so these are like 300 degrees and they just need to cool off a little bit. I'm going to try opening this door and see what happens. Okay, we didn't immediately get any fires in this room, so I feel like that's okay. And then let's open up the vent and the door here that are right next to the gas scrubber. And a little, little smoky in that Carter. We can turn off the spacesuits. Let's open up some other doors here. So we just got to keep the aft section sealed off from the forward sections. 
What's this hole here? Oh, I guess I couldn't... I couldn't... Could I build a door there? Let me see if I could build a door there. I can, but that's not actually a... Is it a wall? It is a wall. Yeah, okay. So we can build a door there. Have a, have a separate little room for the chemical refinery. Let's do it. Gordon is... Don't pass out in the smoky area, buddy. I mean, he's got oxygen, he's in a space, it's fine. Somebody will probably pick him up soon and bring him over to the beds. Although, well, if he's in a spacesuit, they might not. I don't know. Okay, this is starting to clear up and go back to normal. Temperature's good. I'm gonna go ahead and open the rest of the vents. Let's fix the recycler. Still waiting for this mining to happen. It's pretty hot in this room. We probably should have a vent here. Actually, let's not vent out of the corridor. Let's vent over into this other little room here. I think that'll be better. Okay, now we're finally getting the carbon. We have the Yen Luang. My ship name. Okay, so we're taking on three blue crystals for this trade of bell blocks and chemicals. And uh, maybe we'll save a whole block. I think this is good. Probably wait for these hyperdrives to be fixed before we go anywhere. I think we're gonna give our crew a minute to get caught up, fix all the, do all the maintenance it needs doing. And again, we're at the end of the day, so we'll let our crew rest. And Lucky's got all the important stuff fixed. We still got some pods that are damaged, and some research labs. that whole stabilizer. That's pretty important. Artificial meat is almost halfway done. So we, we still don't have... I don't think we have enough blue crystals right now to do the research for the X1, unfortunately. artificial meat is going to be a big deal once we get that. We do have a botanist 6, so we should be able to make some. Let's, um... wait for our way team to finish sleeping, actually. Or at least get most of their sleep that they need. I don't know what ship this is going to be, we'll see. just take off. We'll run into them later, I'm sure. Some more carbon, nice. And yeah, we've got some blue crystals and a derelict next door.
Okay, we're gonna wait for the carbon, I think. I can't wait till we get the little shields online. Um, let's get everything closed. Please fix this before the hyperdrive goes out. Okay, we got it figured out. Now he's fixing the nav console good. I forgot we had this little grow bed down here. It's like our mascot. Uh, uh, we're going to lose a grow bed. That's unfortunate. Um, Nadia's on it, but I don't think she's going to... I'm going to leave this vent open in hopes that the extra airflow will help the grow bed stay alive. I don't think it's going to work. Nadia, who's assigned the job, is all the way on the other end of the ship. Yeah, they're all dead. Okay, we'll close it then. Okay. Our storage got damaged. I wonder what happens if it gets destroyed. I hope we don't lose all the stuff that's in storage. I don't think I've ever seen a storage get damaged before, as far as I can remember. Champros. Nobody wants to do maintenance, apparently. Nadia, get to it. Yeah, we're done with the meteor shower. Good to see that. Let's add the base metals back to the mining queue. I forgot with mining four, he's taking forever out there. We're down to five blue crystals. Yeah, we got everything fixed. We got all of our mining done. In my imagination, or did it seem like he did took took forever to do the carbon, and he did the base metals just like instantly? That's super weird. I guess they it could be that the different types of mineral have different skill level requirements or something. This is the Enlo Wang who we just traded with earlier. Okay, and this is a sector for the goodies. Hopefully. Five hundred gem crystals. I'm gonna try to get Gordon some shooting experience at some point so we can help with fighting with a rifle. Yeah, lots of crawlers here.
Okay, I think we pretty much cleared that half of the ship. Let's check the other half. We'll come back and explore the rest of those little nooks and crannies back there if we need to to clear the ship, but I think we got all the aliens that were on that side. Okay, yeah, we got the space whale. Energy rods, food. Oh, we got some meat. Crew's gonna love that. Okay, we're back up in the green with energy crystals. Or should I say in the blue, perhaps. I just wanted to take a drink of water real quick to soothe my throat a little bit. Yeah, we could stick around for some energy scrap. We don't want to stick around too long. It's kind of not very energy efficient. Didn't I think the whole stabilizer would be worth energy scrap? But hey, I guess it is. As our ice supply. We used about half of the ice that we bought earlier. That's not terrible. Almost done with artificial meat. Very cool. I think we're going to start, but not necessarily finish the research that we need for the X1. Artificial meat technology, yes. The best technology. I'll wait till one of these grow beds gets harvested and then we'll switch it over to meat. We don't need too much, probably two beds at most. Probably want to add one more set of grow beds, I think. It'll be easier when we have the robots. But before the robots, we need the X1 so we can manufacture things efficiently. Oh, they're just chilling out there on the space platform in the middle of nowhere. Like, hey guys, we're here. Come pick us up. We'll quickly grab the space metal. Okay, we got pirates in the neighboring sector, but they're leaving to a different place, so we're fine. And we have no... we won't be here too long because we have no derelict here, it's just harvesting. Uh, base metals are our lowest priority because that's the thing that we have the most of. Meteoroids. Super rude. We talked about this. Okay, let's try to avoid the concussion. Just gonna wait it out. Hope that none of our grobets get hit. We got a near miss there. We got damaged our hull over the grobet area, but it didn't actually make a breach.
This would be another great, another place for a spacesuit locker, but it's only two rooms away from the other locker that we have here. So I don't know if we necessarily need that. It's not like there's a limited number of spacesuits for a locker. Okay, this sector is a little bit much. I think we're going to get the one Hyperium unit and then we're leaving. Fire on board. These guys should be able to take care of it quick. Let's close the thing that goes out. I'll just close both of these. I wonder what'll happen if I walk in here without a spacesuit. Oh, hey, I've got a first degree burn. How'd that happen? Still waiting for our intrepid crystal miner. So we can get back before the flare. Uh, Edward healed from the burn. Good. Saw that in the log up here. I have a feeling the solar flare is going to hit any second, probably right when we're about to jump. Okay, we made it. Okay, we're two. Heading for the resource rich sector, which is up this way. We already explored both limb all three limbs of this thingy here. So we're just gonna make our way around the last couple nodes. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we jump. This is a good resource rich sector. I see a lot of little branches here. Oh, that's good. A lot better than the last one. You're almost home, guys. I think our away team needs a little bit of rest. Let's have... I'm just going to direct these guys to go sleep. Lucky definitely needs a rest. Uh, they're happy. Everybody had a unit of meat recently, or a, a bite of meat recently, so all their protein deficiencies are gone. Everybody's completely healthy. Super. Okay, so that's good. The way team's prepped. Everybody's ready to go. Uh, let's see where this... Oh, this is actually a place that we can explore down here. Yeah, let's go this way first. Come back to that in a second. Carbon, nice. And a derelict. Oh, merchants didn't want to trade with us this time. These things are relentless. It's like every sector. I mean, it's brutal difficulty, so yeah, of course it's going to be, right? They actually toned it down a little bit. It was worse in um, when the space hazards first came out in Alpha 9. What's... 
what just happened there? It says this grab is on fire, but I'm not seeing anything. Oh yeah, okay. I'll just shut that shut all that off. Sorry, Grobad. I'd save you if I could, buddy. At least I'll put the fire out. Oh, as soon as we're finished mining, the meteorite shower ends. So we could rest here if we needed to. Oh, I shouldn't have let smoke out of the kitchen. That was kind of a mistake. I think I want to expand this room and put a gas grubber in here next to the... No, I don't, because we don't want gas grubbers directly in our grow bed rooms, right? Um, let's keep... Let's close that and open that instead. That should be fine. So the smoke, the smoke's going to start coming out of the industry area, and it's eventually going to come out to here. Um, okay, away team sleeping, that's good. And let's launch. So for, I guess, Edward, who's flying the ship. The big merchant ship. One of the new design ones, I think. Well, you cut a. What do you got for me? You don't want plastic. That's a shame. I have some very nice plastic to sell. Okay, there's chemicals. I'm gonna keep one of them. We got two blue crystals for that. I'll give up a whole block as well. I think that's worth. All right. Those guys will hopefully repair that industry machinery while we're gone. Although Lucky seems to be the main maintenance person, so they might not. I don't know. Uh, we're going to start, since we don't have a hull breach to go into, we're going to start at one end of the ship and work our way around. That way we know we at least don't have any aliens behind us. Not the most time efficient or oxygen efficient way, probably, but it's the safest way. So far, nothing. Free stuff. I mean, as long as there's nothing in those room, uh, as long as those rooms have windows, we can just keep walking. Just scoping out the whole ship, and it looks like we got a freebie, uh, except for the micro meteorites. Yeah, I'm on this ship. Please don't blow it up. Um, we're gonna put spacesuits on over here, since we got a small skeleton crew left. Okay, Asteroth Thirteen has been explored. Oh, lots of good stuff here. Three tech blocks, three hull blocks, an energy rod, two types of food, an energy block, a plastic unit, and an electronic component. Lots of good stuff there. We're going to expedite transfer since the ship is currently being blown up by asteroids. Uh, but these guys don't want to work. They're busy. Okay, they're done. Done with their coffee break. Alright, we'll let the shuttle go. Let's put it down to 3x. It's where, okay, actually the meteor shower is over now. Uh, we actually got everything here. We can get some energy scrap. Potentially. We actually could use some infra scrap, maybe. Wait a minute, did we have refined hyperfuel to sell them? So that they I would say they want that, not that not that we have that.
I forgot to look for dead grow beds here that we could reuse for the meat. Here's one. I'm just going to put that on continuous production. Because we've only got one bed that's producing meat. I mean, we could still put the rule in there, I guess. It doesn't hurt anything because we're not going to produce enough meat, really, to feed everybody. I think I'm looking at our blue crystals. I think we need a couple more blue crystals still. I think we're still short. Just got to get ahead of the energy curve. They're done salvaging here, hopefully. Oh no, that's right, they're getting in for scrap. I forgot about that. Um, I mean, we don't need it for scrap that much. That's probably plenty. Just transfer what we got. What happened to Lucky here? Um, looks like he was in an accident, maybe. Extremely fatigued, awake. He actually slept in a bed. Man, he must be tired. Oh, spacesuit. Spacesuits. Curse you, spacesuit directive. There we go. Okay, everybody's better now. Yeah, we just need to give our guys a little a minute to rest since we tortured them by keeping them in spacesuits for like an entire day. these guys yellow bars back up. I think, I think at the end of this hour then we're going to have them eat again and then they'll be good. Okay, that's fine. Alright, where are we headed? We've finished with this little node here. Uh, pirates. Let's see if we can wait them out. We're really not. I'll see if we can trade with the Merchant Federation while we're waiting. And also our guys can rest and we can maybe get some of the stuff on, done on board the ship. Hoping these guys will have blue crystals and it's not the same merchant that we just bought all the crystals from. And of course it'd also be nice if we could sell them our six plastic units for mad money. Uh, we do have like 13 carbon so we can afford to make more. Silverhawk. What do you have and what do you need? Oh, they do want plastic. Fantastic. Okay. So we'll give them all that. We've only got two blue crystals, unfortunately. We'll take them both. Is there anything else we want from them? We're good on green crystals, so not really. We could go for some energy rods, maybe. They're pretty cheap here. How many of our things... Can't really tell. We're gonna have an energy refinery soon, so let's not go too crazy with the energy rods. 
I think we'll hold off. I think we're going to have an energy refinery online before we leave the sector. So we'll just do the blue crystals. Pirates are still in the neighboring sector. Really need for them to leave. Okay, we still got some ice. Let's check if these guys have any... They don't. Shooting star. Did we trade with them before? Maybe we didn't. I don't think it, I don't think we did. I think I would have remembered the 15 tech blocks. I'll buy all their blue crystals as well. Um, we could trade them a couple of raw chemical units, but I'm kind of wanting to conserve energy right now, and we got plenty of credits, so let's make use of them. We're still going to spend some energy building back our plastic supply. Let's see these guys. Do we have plastic yet? We do. These guys want plastic. No. Crispy pirates. It's probably better at this point for us to spend hyperfuel. Let's wait for let's wait for Saul and Lucky to be rested. Also getting our energy refinery research done while we're waiting. So many corpses. Can't wait to get the composters in line and get get start getting these things out of inventory. These guys won't play a matter. They do. I'm gonna sell them two lots. And we'll take a couple energy rods for that. Saves us some manufacturing time if nothing else. water but we still got three ice so we're not out yet pirates will not go away I mean we can weather their attacks a little bit better now that we got the second hull stabilizer good risk doing a blockade run here I think we should try it we're wasting a lot of resources just sitting. Could be traveling. Give them like one turn and see if they want to leave. No, they don't. We did evade them, nice. Okay, how many plastic do we have? We have five available. I'm going to grab these and then we're going to go hit the space station and the derelict that's over there. Unless the pirates go to the space station, in which case we'll just go to the sector that they just left. Uh, let's try to get our second pod bay online over here. Do we save everything for the... We don't have a lot of blue crystals still. Let's save everything for the X1. It must be like the PCS hall monitor. Gotta go. Hey, thanks for the loop. Thanks for stopping by, man. Have a good night or morning, afternoon, whatever time it is there. Uh, 
carbon. We don't have that much carbon. I'm going to just sell three units here of plastic. Could think about getting some energy blocks for the generator. I think we'll get at least one here. We'll get two energy blocks. This is dangerous. Let's be a little bit careful. Oh, this is this is not too bad because we got to the nest early. But there is there are two guys in there. It's dicey. Fortunately, there's only one exit they can come out of. So as long as we watch this exit, we're fine. Uh, let's not let's move Lucky so that he's not in the front. I'm going to have Edward open this door. We have the potential to bring out another crew member if we want to. We have the agricultural resources, I think. Let's uh, move Saul in front of Lucky here. We need to leave in a hurry. At least we get some cash. What are they shooting at? I hope it's not those eggs, because they're certainly not hitting them from here. Just keep firing and not hitting. Oh, they, we actually freed uh, that other person. Ended by accident. There's three of them. They're really stuck in that one corner, though. They can't even get to us because the eggs are blocking the entire corridor, I just realized. That's why they're stuck back here. Oh, uh, I take back what I said. I take it back. Okay, we'll let that purple person tank for us, maybe. Okay, this isn't going well. We're gonna leave. Go, 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 go. Oh, God. Okay. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. We could try to make a stand here and see if we can take out the one guy that's floated towards us. Because the other two guys seem to be content to just chill out in the nest over there. So, do you want to do the honors? Uh, he left. Okay. Okay. That was okay. Oh, and Saul got a plus one weapons. That's really good. Worth. Okay, let's try not to get killed, see if we can kill another one. A little too far for him to be walking by himself, I think. Good thing there's not another nest on here, because if there were, we would have been screwed by now. There's still three of them. Oh, we're gone. Forget it. This is just too much. We can't keep up with the rate at which they're creating eggs and hatching them. Not with this weird terrain the way it is. Let's quit while we're ahead. 
If we had a second uh, shuttle, we could probably manage it with the extra help. Or if the military line sent somebody, but I don't think they're going to send anybody. Did we trade with these guys yet? No. I think we... maybe we didn't. They want plastic, but we have a limited supply of carbon left. Let's reduce our manufacturing threshold until we get more plastic. Until we get more carbon, rather. We'll chill in the, in the sector for a minute and see if the outpost sends anybody over or the merchants send anybody over. If so, we'll help them out. And take all the credit, of course. Got to do this mining anyway. Let's, um... Can we at least make some money selling scrap or something? I don't think we're gonna be using much tech scrap anymore, so let's just get rid of that. We'll save four in case we need to make an electronics component in a pinch for some reason. person, whoever they are, is basically dead. Because they got removed from the wall and then reattached. Okay, the Merchant Federation and the military aren't doing anything about the aliens, so as soon as this trade is done, we're out of here. Energy refinery. Research is done. Nice. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Spoke too soon. Oh, no, they're trading with each other. Never mind. still guarding that one thing of Hyperium. That's okay, we really just need energy and more anyway. Just hope they don't come over to guard this exit when we come back. Uh, we're gonna stop over at this merchant ship and see if they have more blue crystals that was not one we traded with already. And also check for carbon. Sundown Maiden. The, our ship in the uh, Starfinder adventure path that we're playing is called the Sunrise Maiden. Uh, we do need some ice as well here. We can give up some chemicals, can we? I don't know. I think we're better off giving up hull blocks. Crystals, good. Somehow we turned up an extra couple blue crystals somewhere. That was the trade we just did, Dur. Um, that'll probably enable us to do some X1 research. Do we actually already have... We're already working on the X1 research. Okay, we're good there. So we should work on building our energy refinery. Let's take a look at our power coverage here. I think we can make some more... I was going to make this another shuttle bay, though. I think we should make this a shuttle bay. Let's build our second shuttle bay. It's going to help us out a lot with trading and stuff. So this is six. Good. 
kind of a large area. We could close it up a little bit more and have a wall in between these two areas. I think that's good. And then I'm going to close this up and we're going to have an energy refinery in this little nook here. That's not enough space. We'll expand it another... It's not going to be enough space because of that. Uh, we want a wall in between the node and the machine, so... I think this will be fine. It's probably not the best place to do whole construction because of the radiation. You can, um... Let's keep going and we'll do the construction in the next se sector while we're also working on the derelict. And some more blue crystals. And we're in the resource rich sector, remember, so hopefully we should get like a whole pile of them, like 13 or something. Hopefully. Six. That's weird. It's the same amount that we've been getting all along, basically. Like our guys rest for a second here. That's good enough. Um, okay, we'll turn this on. Spacesuits. Another very tight, confined quarters. Unfortunately, there's only crawlers here. Just here so that we don't lose a whole bunch of atmosphere or something while I'm over here looking at the derelict. Uh, an air gym, nice. And some food. Fire right, on board a small hope. Let's check it out. It says that the shuttle bay is on fire. Seems to be fine. I think there must be an alien back here. Oh, no. We explored it. Don't care for that. We did start building the new hull. I'm going to build a wall here for now. Hopefully that wasn't the crap, it was the shuttle. Okay, so we're going to suspend cargo transfer for now until the meteorite shower is over. So we have four guys, who half our crew has concussions now because they, that one shuttle got hit. That sucks. Always worried when that, that's going to happen. Whatever, we explored derelict in a meteorite shower sector. Okay, we're done with the meteorites, though. Alright, they're going to bed anyway, so hopefully they'll get to heal a little bit. And fortunately, none of them are damaged uh, from the sortie. No energy scrap here. I think we're good with everything else.
Kind of lucky. We still have space suits active on, don't we? Turn that off so as soon as they're done fighting with fire, they can get out of their suits. Oh, wait. Guys. <laughs> okay, they have no common sense. Sorry. Um, close this. <laughs> the shuttle just docks in the burning shuttle bay like it's no big deal. Oh, uh, let's not kill our grow beds over here. Oh, too late. Shoot. Power outage, why? We are in the radiation sector. Generating 79 per second and consuming 80 per second. Basic power. The awful thing about the basic power is that once you get above the rate of use, once your usage rate gets above the generation rate, there's like nothing you can do about it. Um, we're gonna close this, close this, close this, close this. Close this, close this. Turn this off. Turn that off. Cue that for a pair. Let's see if that helps. Okay, we're actually generating slightly more than we're consuming now. So in a minute, theoretically, that should stabilize. What is the amount that we're generating vary? That doesn't make any sense. No idea. Okay. Um, I mean, it might be the extra power load from the gas scrubbers that's causing the outage. And the oxygen generators. There any other areas where we can shut off? don't have an option to stop them because I don't do anything to begin with. Let's um, close this, close this, turn this off. We getting stable? I think we're maybe stabilizing. generating enough power with two generators to run the ship. It's crazy. We're almost done the X1 research, though. So things are going to get better. We gotta get this built. F our crew is down with the concussion. need repairs actually. This one especially. Try to micro this and get somebody to do it. I 
wonder if the heat's damaging them. I think they're okay. Oh, they decided she didn't want to follow orders. There we go. Got our mining pod going out again, finally. We're up to 16 blue crystals. That's good. I think we're going to open up this section again. And resume this guy. We're just going to leave this closed. That four man concussion was super bad. We just gotta we gotta chill and recover from that, but it, this isn't a good sector to do that in because of the radiation. So let's try to move. Call this the tell telltale heart compartment for now. One of our concussed drives is driving. I think we might have to put the concussed guys on light duty instead of having them sleep all day. It's not that made me traded with. Get more ice, we don't need it. We can't trade with the cultists, of course. Uh, Lucky's almost dead, I just noticed. He's got a first degree burn. Oh god, there's more meteoroids. Let's get out of here. Lucky has managed to somehow set himself on fire. I guess because he... No! Oh my god. Lucky did not live up to his name at all. I can't believe that happened. He just walked into a room that was like 100 degrees without a spacesuit and died. <laughs> the room wasn't even on fire. It was just like that. Oh my god. That's terrible. <laughs> well, I guess we have one fewer person on our way team now. Uh, Gordon, you've been promoted. That sucks. Oh, that's so frustrating. We're not gonna. We're gonna keep going though. We're not gonna save scum or anything. But let's please get the ship underway. Okay, Saul was smart enough to wear a spacesuit. I'm pretty sure there was no, like, actual fire on board. I'm pretty sure it was just... Edward is... You're in a bad place, Edward. Oh, he's fixing the breach, though, so that's fine. Okay. Okay, we did get this... Hyper, this one hyperdrive fully fixed, so... Let's see if the pirates are still... We don't have an away team, so we're not going to go to that derelict right this minute. We're gonna go find another sector that's hopefully a little bit safer where we can chill out for a minute. And 
Yeah, maybe we can give us some medical services, actually. The military lines has them, usually. Yeah, let's go for some medical service. The last one... We have a free assault rifle now for some reason. Darn it. Okay. Spending a thousand out of our fifteen hundred that we have. What actually do they ha are they afflicted with besides a concussion? Only messed up concussion. Nadia's almost healed. She's fa she'll be okay. Saul has a concussion that's getting worse. This guy says he needs a doctor, but I think we're just gonna wait it off. It's too expensive. I mean, like, only a couple hours might really benefit them, though. Let's try to do nine hours between the three of them and see what that does for us. Where's the third guy? Only two medical beds? We only have two medical beds. We get ripped off. Oh, she's exploring the ship. That's useful, I guess. Kind of. Gordon have a pistol still? He does. Okay, let's add him to the away team while we have the option to do that. Oh, Helena has a rifle, but she's the cowardly one. Oh, that's rough. That substantially reduces our ability to clear derelict ships having a person with a pistol on board. Once Gordon gets some experience under his belt and gets some weapon skill improvements, then hopefully we'll get better. We'll be able to do more. Do we wait for these two merchant ships? I think we kind of need to sit around for a bit anyway and let our guys recuperate, so we might as well wait for them. Um, I think we need a door here. Yeah, the cheap blue crystals left the sector. It's kind of unfortunate, but it's not that big a deal. Iron sides, what do you got for us? Nothing useful, really. Where's the other one? He's all the way over here. The yoke lame. Ooh, carbon. Hello, carbon. So we got a full raft of carbon there, and then. It's too bad the guy with the cheap blue crystals just left, but we'll take what we can get here. These guys didn't have cheaper ones today. No. Oh, Gordon's back to normal. Needs food, though.
I guess Gordon was never actually concussed to begin with, so it's not it's not that he's back to normal, it's that he uh he's fine. He doesn't need to be rested with the other guys. Okay, do we sit here and recover or do we travel? We should probably travel. I'm going to stop here first. I'm going to come back for this once the crew is a little more healed. And we got a trading station ahead, so that's pretty good. Hoping that we also have a non-radiation sector here. Nope, no such luck. Oh, it's cold in here now. Good. So where's the radiation coming from this time? It's this starboard side of the hull. So this area back here is now actually acting like a heat sink, kind of. Edward's mining. Nadia's healed. Sol needs medical bed. Kind of wonder if it would be worth it to invest in a medical bed. Wouldn't be the worst idea. Solar flare. Rude. Better wait for this one green crystal that we've already got in the works here. So I'll eat something, so go back to bed. Edward's the one in the mining pod. Okay, he's coming back. Um, let's see, he needs food. Ready to go? Not yet. Get in there, guys. Um, we'll stop here and get the blue crystals. We're almost recovered from the concussions, which means we can go do those derelicts soon. And as soon as we get that recovery, we got like three derelicts that we can do. And we should probably look for a pistol. There's a one. So we got these four. Elena's the cowardly one. And then Dolb is also pretty decent, actually. The last one. We could sell you plastic now. In exchange for some more cheap blue crystals. At a certain point, we don't need to keep buying more of them. Right, we could just take the profit and use it for useful stuff later. But I mean, I feel like these are things that we're just going to keep burning through them all the time, so let's pick them up while they're cheap. We're still working on building this. Always with the micrometeoroids. Okay, canceling mining. There we go. Who's construction? I have a feeling that Lucky was our construction guy. So we're not. Seems like we're not getting any construction. Yeah, crap. 
Saul is going to be our new construction guy, I think. Although he's also five botany, so I hate to do that. But we also have two other good botanists, so I think it's okay. I haven't prioritized construction and maintenance first, followed by botany. And also research. Um... Mark this as stop so that they don't try to do something with it. Leave my metal refinery alone. My power node. Can we get this fixed, somebody? Elena, you're nearby. Here we go. While you're over here, why don't you fix these walls? Much better. Um, and fix this one too. Really? I was like, darn it, I just fixed that. Okay, let's. Okay, Helena's already on it. She figured it out. She figured it out. Is keeping this off. Let's check the temperatures. Temperature is coming from this side this time. Meteor shower is over. Just keeping this off because of the temperature. Edward and Stall are still recovering from their concussions. Let me click that. Sorry about that. But we need the mining pod to be resumed. Most of the blue crystals. Almost done with the X1 research. Right now we got plenty of blue crystals, but that X1 research is going to be a big boon to us in the long run. Okay, so I'm going to block out space for a second shuttle. I don't know that I actually want to build one yet. Oops. Uh, one square short. Okay, so that... So here is where I need to build. So finish that wall. There we go. It's not really enough room for an industry machine. Hmm. Uh, let's do it this way.
Let me do it like this. And we should be alright. That should be enough room for an uh, energy refinery, I think. Let's see. Energy refinery, yes. So just gonna have an energy refinery in the shuttle bay, which is fine. Um, that's kind of in a weird spot where it's blocking the construction. If you get rid of the wall between the shuttles, it'll fit. Uh, that's true, yeah. But I, I, I wanted to avoid doing that because it creates a huge area for damage control. Also, greetings. Good to see you. I was thinking about doing that initially when I first did this whole construction, but uh, just having the two shuttle bays connected to each other, and I was like, no, this area is too large, I gotta break it up. Because we still don't have our shields yet. Uh, is this gonna be right? Let me see if I can actually... I can do that, okay. Okay, we actually have nobody concussed anymore. That's pretty good. This we can expect under the circumstances. Okay. And we're off. We could go to the station. I want to get this green crystal. No, this is the solar flare double whammy sector. Let's leave that alone. I'm going to check out this civilian station here. Ooh, mining station. I love mining stations because they usually have lots of carbon. That's good stuff. That's the stuff. Yeah. All right. I get excited by carbon. I'm gonna go. Do I want to sell one of these rifles? I'm gonna sell one of these rifles. I think by the time we have a use for that other one, we're gonna have uh, an, our own item fabricator probably. So we can sell all of our hull blocks here as well. What are we doing on rock chemicals? We can, yeah, that, that makes a full hold. It's very neat, neat and nice and neat that way. So we're going to get on 10 carbon. We're going to bring on, we could bring on more carbon than that, actually. Let's do it. We'll bring on a couple units of rock chemicals as well. And then we're going to trade them some biomatter. And then for the low, low price of 10 more biomatter, Actually, we actually are a little bit low on biomatter. We have to have some for the algae dispenser. So we're going to get a couple more raw chemical units. Not too many. And then a couple more ice units because they're here. And... So we get blue crystals. We should probably think about blue crystals. Let's trade some soft locks for some blue crystals. We have some more soft scrap in the hold here. And then maybe some tech blocks. That's pretty good. <clears throat> so we're about to get our X1 online very soon here. Uh, this should be a door, not a wall. Meteoroids! Curse you, meteoroids! Uh, we don't need anybody getting concussed, so let's cancel that. Um, that's not a section where we want a hull breach. That's where both of our generators are. So let's try to get that figured out. Is there another breach over here? There is. Saul's got that one covered already, though. Saul's on the ball. Beautiful. Oh. <laughs> Darn it. Helena got a concussion anyway, as she was working on hull construction. Q 
communicate with them all. Okay, we're gonna block this. Okay, they should be able to put that out without um, spacesuits, I think. Yeah, they're good. What was that? That was, oh, the algae dispenser. Huh. <laughs> I'm surprised this pile of rubble isn't more green and gooey. Your shower is still ongoing. I thought it had stopped because it was quiet for a minute. I didn't hear any impact sounds. But it's just the meteors were missing missing us. Civilians are actually going to start taking some breaches too in a minute if the meteor shower doesn't abate. Their shields are going down. Oh, they must have somebody on the shield console because it seems like they're maintaining it just barely. This area is huge because they oh uh, because one wall got blown up in the middle here. Darn it! So we've got the generators under threat again. Let's get Helena to come fix this wall. That's busted. Okay, we're done. We got through the storm. All right, and then we need Helena to eat and rest. After she finishes carrying this box, I guess, to wherever it's going. What is she doing? Okay. Oh, she was taking things to both the generators, I guess. Doesn't seem like very restful, carrying boxes to the generator. Oh, she vomited. Probably not much food here. It's just like a little bit of seeds and nuts. That's all that's available. She's just eating seeds and nuts. And she had nausea because of the concussion, not because of the algae dispenser. Because the algae dispenser is broken. So, can't blame that. Um, do we actually not have any info blocks? We don't. to manufacture more infra blocks before we can get the algae dispenser back online, apparently. Um, we could just buy two of them from the station, in theory, but I don't want to do that because our um, cash is a little bit short right now. I think our logistics is really behind. What is this waiting for? Industry. Go ahead and go do that thing. Really? There he goes. For more steel plates for the metal refinery. Um, we can resume this. Not that we actually need that extra two hull squares right now.
So once we have a bunch of Inver blocks free, this is eventually going to be a second shuttle bay here. We have an energy refinery, which is very nice. Produce energy rods. We have extra green crystals. We could also produce refined hyperfuel for sale. Let's go ahead and do one unit. Or two units, because it uses half of a crystal. <clears throat> now we finally got our trades circulating again. The next one technology yet not quite getting there Helena you need to eat and sleep let's just put Helena on a rest schedule because I don't want to monitor for a long time here and uh, our experience with concussions has told us that people set things on fire and get themselves killed if they are not supervised. There we go. Well, we got like 2,000 credits now from the trade transactions that we did. That's very cool. Should get a little more from this next transaction, I think, or spend a little bit, maybe. One of those two things. Finally, get the algae up again. Thought for a minute we we're out of storage space because of this pile of things in the airlock. Uh, what do civilians want from us? It's going to be carbon. I thought they were going to set them answering their hails, but their console's not banned. Do they not have an ops console? I'm confused. Okay, whatever. We'll hang up. I'm not going to sit at the console all day waiting for them to figure out if they know how to use a radio or not. Okay. Um, I think I just want to wait in this sector until we get our manufacturing caught up, and also until Helena's concussion gets healed, and most importantly, until we get the X1 generator. What do you want? Okay, we actually have two consoles that actually work, talk to each other now. Carbon, 538 credits each. Um, that's less than we would get for plastic, so no. We ended up with more ice. I guess we bought some in a later transaction after I looked at this. These guys are giving us 600 credits per unit of refined hyperfuel, which is pretty cool. We'll go ahead and sell those. Do they have any basic hyperfuel? Ooh. This is interesting. They have a whole pile of basic hyperfuel, and they're giving us almost twice as much for refined hyperfuel. We're going to go pick up five of these guys. We could manufacture energy cells now, so I could sell this. It's probably not worth it, though. Let's stick to four crystals here. So I want to have some spending cash left over in case of an emergency. And how are we doing on biomatter? And yeah, they don't want it anymore, really. Okay, so we got that. I'm going to go ahead and make 
six per units of refined hyperfuel. And I'm going to sell it all to the station and buy basic green crystals back and maybe a blue crystal or two. All right, we got the X1 done. Sweet. Okay, what's next on our agenda here? Solar panels? Mm, solar panels are pretty good. I think once we get the X1 online, the solar panels, definitely worth it to have those. The robots would be really good. I think we need the shields before the robots. Let's go for the shield console first. Um, I think now that we have the X1, let's go shields, then solar panel, then the robots. Okay, so I think it could make some sense for the shields to be in the forward section here, next to this new hull stabilizer that we just built. I think how the room's going to be laid out here. Um... So this would be... Oh, actually, these are mini shields. They don't take up as much space, so we can put them in that little slot. That should be fine. Of course, we haven't done the research yet. We're working on it. Oh, that's slowly healing. Progress of our industry is so slow. It feels like we're we have everybody on a rest schedule, but it's just because we lost one of our industry guys. Nadia is maxed out with his industry ranks of eight. Gordon's slowly catching up. Nadia is the boss of industry. She's got it all handled. Okay, so we got a room now to put the shields in. Uh, probably need a power node up here somewhere. Probably put that in the same room as well. Abyssal Vanguard. What do you have and what do you need? You need biomatter. Let's do the important stuff first. With a 25 carbon, nice. These guys are giving us even better prices on hyperfuel than the station is. We also have the option to sell them some plastic, which is pretty nice. Um, they're not going to be in the sector forever, and they have carbon. So we're definitely going to sell them plastic units. So this is just easy, free stuff. I'm making a mint refining hyperfuel here. Or we will anyway. And we got all the refining done. Refining hyperfuel and refining carbon. Um, let's up our plastic production again to six. So once we get up to six plastic units and six refined hyperfuel units, then we'll trade with the Abyssal Vanguard. Did I trade them hyperfuel already? I don't think I did. No, not yet. Gotta make sure we do that before these guys leave the sector. And we gotta make sure they do it before these guys get hyper buy hyperfuel from the station. Um Lots of fruit. And they're sending people over for some reason as well. I guess that makes sense because they're both from the same faction for them to exchange personnel. Q 
Okay, we're up to seven refined hyperfuel now, so we can go ahead and sell. That's 3,000 credits. Can we even get that back? Get that much back from them? Let's see. Four, five, six. We could buy some food or like energy blocks, tech blocks. We actually did bank back the 3,000, so that's pretty good. Yeah, this is a great trade. We could even think about getting a unit of meat for the crew. Actually, we're growing our own meat now, so we don't actually have to. Yeah, so this is just a cool thousand credits. We can save we could even save one of the hyperfuel units for the station if we wanted to be a little bit quicker here. Let's sell it all, because we can get more from the station. There we go, we're gonna make five more hyperfuel units. We'll use some of our profits to buy more blue crystals from the station. In fact, let's buy some now. Nope. Gotta wait till one of our trades is done here. Okay, Helena's better. Is Helena on the away team? No, she's not, so she is second shift. Here we go. I think she's our main logistics. Just notice we're slightly overweight. Should probably do something about that. Let's get all of our trading done here first. I mean, I guess we might be able to do some of both at the same time, but I think some of our capacity is going to get taken up here by the... We should start thinking about expanding our ship more afterward. Um, three. We could, we could extend our room back three spaces like this and put our next hyperdrive over there. That just gives us a little bit more room. It's not much. Five. Five. And then... We'll do the same thing here on the other side when it comes time to do that. Just trying to save on having to build another power node the reason that I'm only moving them a little bit. Okay, we got 1,400 credits now, so we can buy some of our blue crystals. to build the X1. What am I doing? Let's get that online. Spent all this time researching it and figuring out and getting it into our thing and then I totally forgot about it. How do we... I think we're going to put it here for now. I'm going to eliminate this door. Next one's going to end up going here. I'm going to eliminate this wall. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, we got seven Hyperion crystals again. So let's do some more trading. So for that we need... I'm going to take a whole pile of green crystals here, or blue crystals here. This is good, yeah, this is good. Okay. So getting 900 credits, four more green crystals, and six more blue crystals. Fantastic. That's going to be our final trade here, I think. Um, so at this point, we could think about we could we should probably build our second shuttle bay. Oh no, it doesn't fit. It told me it was going to fit. It's a liar. All right, we're going to build this out. Nope, we're at the edge. Hmm. Okay, we're going to have to relocate one of our drives. We'll wait till this gets done, and then we'll work on that in a second. Uh, maybe two of our drives will have to relocate, actually. Come saw the construction. Very good. Okay, now that that's done, we're gonna... This doesn't fit. Darn. Um. I mean, we can demolish stuff now. We can afford to do that. Let's just do it. It's going to cost extra resources, but uh, I think we need that in order to make progress further here. Unless we build all the way to the front of the ship, which I don't really want to do for our industry stuff. I think we can also afford to put in another new power node. We get our next one placed yet. Let's, let's get that done. So this is priority. I'd say I think we need somebody prioritizing construction, except that we're out of infra blocks anyway, so... And tech blocks. So we gotta get the industry done before we can do that. Let's uh, see if we can buy a tech block here to expedite the process. Maybe a couple infra blocks. How do we wind up still having five units of refined hyperfuel? I didn't set a rule there, did I? No. Weird. I thought we sold all these. Okay, we're going to sell one of them. So you get that, and we're going to get like four in for blocks. Three in for blocks. There we go. Okay, as soon as we get the 
tech block out there for the X1. Ooh, we got the basic shields. Nice. It's coming together, guys. I think this could go back further, judging by the position of the... Yeah, let's put another couple blocks there. Perfect. That's exactly where we want it. So the power node just covers the, the part of this where the power gets connected. Sibby's coming in. The Abyssal Vanguard. I think we traded with them before just a minute ago. They still have a couple units of carbon that we could buy. But with 26 carbon, I think we're fine right now. Yeah, we're good here. And I think once we get this drive built, we'll be able to get underway. I'd really like to move this one. We gotta wait till the basic power, backup power gets charged on this generator, and then we're gonna switch off one of these Energium generators. Maybe we should go for the robots before the solar panels. I think the robots are going to help us out more right now. It seems like our logistics and our, our construction is very slow. We're overwhelmed with jobs right now and the size of our ship. Okay, there we go. We got our new hyperdrive built. Our new old hyperdrive, I guess, because I demolished one to move it back there. Okay, we got the workbench, robot workbench and storage, which doesn't do anything for us right now, really. And we could start salvaging some android corpses if we really wanted to, but I don't care about that too much. It's cool that we have the option to do that, but uh, it's not really important for me right now. Okay, this is a nasty sector we wanted to avoid. I think this is a place where we can stop and check out the derelict. Or it was a place where the derelict was too scary and we had to leave. No, we haven't looked at this yet. We should figure out what stuff we're going to put in the end of the shuttle bay here. This would be a good place for, like, another oxygen generator or something. I think this place is going to give us more visibility because it's a larger breach. And more maneuvering room. Let's, um, while we're doing that, let's also get some ice if we can. Although it looks like our uh, B team is asleep right now. It turns out there's nest. There's no nest on board. We could just let Gordon shoot a bunch of times to let him practice, but I think they'll take forever. Um, 
Let's have Edward go open this door. Oh, hello. Hey, buddy. How's it going over there? Having a good time doing hauler stuff? I hope. Not too good a time. You know. Oh, he's rude. He's dissing me. Look at that. He's like, you're not worthy. What are these aliens doing? Super weird. I don't really want to fight them in this little room. It's bad news. I guess we have to, though. Leave Natty alone. Don't do it. Okay, we're fine. That wasn't as bad as I thought it could be. No nest here, nice. We lucked out. I think there might be a crawler in this little corner here. Nope. Uh, I knew there's a crawler somewhere. Got him. And there might be one more over here. This area is kind of isolated. Some more refined hyperfuel and some more infra blocks, which we need right now. Very cool. I think let's have a, a higher, bigger stash of infra blocks available on board. Let's have like four instead of two. Everybody finished with that chip. That was quick. I was thinking about rebuilding a hyperdrive. Should we do that here? Let's wait till we get to another sector. We still gotta check out the derelict too, I think. Gordon needs rest. Should check the bedroom comfort in here. Yeah, this is fine. This is good. I think there's no light, even though there is. I guess the light doesn't add anything for bedroom cover, but it doesn't subtract anything either. Gordon just needs a little extra rest because of the crawler bites and hauler slashes. I started to feel better. Okay, that should be good. Quickly check if we can do this derelict or if we did it already. Shape doesn't look familiar. 
Oh, this is new. There's a robot bar storage. That's cool that they have that on derelicts now. I think that's also a body storage. Oh, hey, we got a crew member. Nice. We actually have room for another crew member. Let's grab him. Who is it? Aspen. Welcome to the crew. Aspen is a hard-working blacksmith. I like to hear that. He's immune to the wearing a spacesuit debuff. Ooh, that's really nice. And he has weapons three. Aspen, welcome to the away team. You will be replacing uh, our friend Gordon. He's also quite brave with a minus 15% surrender chance. Pretty good. Uh, we just need to make sure that he gets a rifle before his next sortie. Here he comes back now. So when he gets out, there we go. Let's get him a rifle now. Beautiful. That's it for this sector. Some. Oh, these guys sleep for like two, three hours. The way team. Just while we're charging up the hyperdrive. They'll need to eat something. Okay, we're good. This is a great uh, system for us. These pirates are guarding us, keeping us from going back the way we came. Well, we could skip past them now, probably with our extra hull reinforcement that we got. Let's try to avoid them if we can, though. I'm gonna check in the X1 and see if it's got full backup power yet. Nope, still working on it. I think it goes up to like 50k. It's going there now. Wing Solar Flare, is it worth it? No. Shiny. So I think we, we have a, another hyperdrive that we want to rebuild. I think after we've been in this sector for a little while, this particular spot for a little while, we'll start working on that. Make sure there's no hazards here first that we have to dodge. I also want to start building our second pod bay. Should be three wide, so I think we have an extra. That should be enough. 
Oh no, I do want a Carter in between them, so let's make it five. There we go. And the blue, eight blue crystals again. I haven't built the shields yet. Um, still haven't finished charging the backup power for our basic generator. No advanced power is getting used. I guess nobody's doing industry right now. Okay, I think we could shut off one of these generators and let the X1 take the load. We also have areas here that are closed off that don't need to be. Let's fix that again. Okay, and I think at this point we can afford to rebuild another hyperdrive. Let's do that now. Make sure there's no pirates in neighboring sectors. So far, so good. Up, up our whole block cap from three to four. The Garrus, what do you got for me? You want plastic, that's nice. You have cheap tech blocks, I think I'll take a couple of those. So, very expensive to manufacture. Uh, we could take another tech block, sure. I think we could also take some blue crystals, that'll be good. And we'll take sell you four of these in exchange for for green crystals it's a little too rich for their blood that's good buying all their blues all their greens and a couple tech blocks to boot and then what else do we need here that's probably it we could buy some energy rods if we wanted to sell them more stuff I don't think we have to. I don't know how hull blocks do they? No. Let's get this done. Espen is like, no, I'm not working, I'm sleeping. So we got that. We gotta fix our walls here before we get hit by meteoroids or something. And this also needs to be fixed. Unless we want to expand our bridge, which I guess we could do, but I think we, this was going to be a mining pod, wasn't it? So... That's going to go here. This goes there. It's going to be a door. This could also be door, but we've already got one right there. And this could be a wall. And that could be a door. 
It's very inefficient arrangement. It's kind of organic. This takes precedence. Saul's working on it. Okay, he's got it. Now we got a bunch of extra room freed up here, so we can start by moving the energy refinery a little bit here. Let's actually start by closing off the hyperdrive area like this. And I'm going to demolish this wall. I think we're done with this sector, so let's go. My team is ready to go, so let's jump. Don't necessarily need any more noble metals. Let's stop at the station and sell more stuff and trade more stuff. Let's get blue crystals free first. And give our guys some more time to manufacture things. Oh, we're almost to the point where we have robots. Then we're going to go into hyper production mode. I'm going to get a lot more grow beds. I'm going to start expanding our crew a little bit more aggressively. I mean, as crew availability permits. Okay, so we got our hyperdrives all fixed up. This is almost gone. I'm going to just move this door back for a minute so we can move this around freely. Yeah, and I think I want this to be, like, squared off. So let's... Just want to see where this falls. That perfectly completes that, so we do, like, a wall there. And we want this to be on the other side of the wall, like that. That should do it. Make this priority. And we're almost done with the robots research, which is pretty cool. I did the salvage robots first because I think they can do all the things that logistics robots can do for the most part. And they make salvaging derelicts a lot more efficient. But still we didn't... I was hoping to get them earlier in the game. We still didn't get them to the late game, so that's unfortunate. That's kind of the way robots are because they're expensive to build. But they're a good stopgap if you have a very small crew for a very large ship. So we have this coming online first, which is okay. And build a pod there. Just gonna keep this around as a backup generator. This could be I'm gonna make this a double door. This is gonna be Carter that they have to go through to go past here to the hyperdrives. Or actually what I probably should have done let's move this over a space. So that way we can have the Carter coming through the middle so I don't have to walk as far. Decision is costing us valuable construction time, but that's okay. We can afford it. This will be fine. And this is gonna be. Walled off 
like that, I think, once this door is moved. Let's actually cancel that and move this door over here. I'm a bit concerned about somebody getting stuck back in this little corner here when during this wall construction. I think we're going to expand this out and make this be... We're going to get the advanced assembler. We could put some robots back here, maybe. Um, let's also try to start working on the shields. Oh, actually, do we want to... Let's get our other generator upgraded to an X1 first. I think I'm going to demolish this and build another X1 right next to the first one. Um... We do that. Let's definitely make sure the energy refinery is working. That's good. And actually, let's set a threshold for like 16 rods because of the demand from the hypersleep chambers. Okay, we have the Vengeful Spirit and Fortune's Favor in the sector with us here. 655 for Hyperfuel. Yes, we'll refine your Hyperfuel for you. Send it, send it right over. Hmm. I think else we want to sell here. Probably not. I think that's pretty good. Spend a little bit of our cash here to buy the extra blue crystals. Unless these guys have them cheaper. No, they're the same. These guys want plastic, which is good for us. We're, we could buy another assault rifle. I have a feeling that's going to come in handy. So we do have an extra one already currently. But we're about to build a second shuttle bay, so... I kind of want to have be ready to have backup crew. On the other hand, we could also... I think we're going to buy some energy cells, maybe. This isn't the best price. These things are expensive. Let's buy some energy blocks, too. Everything energy. That's the theme here. Okay, that's good. All right, and let's get our wall finished. And let's start our shields over here. Oh, wait, we're going to do the X, um, the X1 first. Let's get that out of the way. So this can get demoed. Before we demo that, actually, I need to deal with this. I'll move that over here. I'm going to move this here. Actually, I'd like to move it there, but the generator's in the way, so we'll put it here, I think. And this can move over here. Let's make this... I think this mm, could be a double door, maybe. I don't know, it's fine. Really need somebody who's good at construction again. We have people who have the potential, like Aspen here. Aspen's our new guy. We didn't check out, look, check out his skills yet, really, actually. The problem with Aspen is that he's good at everything, apparently. Except for logistics. Don't do logistics. Let that be somebody else's job. He's not great at medical, either. I don't think we want a two botanist. I think I'm going to bump up his construction priority. I think this is good. So Aspen's going to focus a bit more on construction.
Okay, once this brick's out of the way, we can demolish this old generator and replace it. I'm gonna plunk in another X1 in place here. I'm gonna leave a little gap in between for airflow and also because I think the X2 takes up one extra space. So we can put an X2 there later. In place of one of these things. Uh, I'm short of tech block. How do I manage that? It's unfortunate. Well, hopefully we can come up with a tech block. I should have... Hold on. Vengeful Spirit. My friend. You do not have any tech blocks. Shame on you. I'm going to chill here and just keep manufacturing until we get our generator situation sorted. We don't want to go into a dangerous situation with low power. Uh, we learned what that was like. Okay, here's our tech block, so now we're just waiting for the construction. Beautiful. Yeah, and I think we need a vent here on this wall, probably. Oh, we need an extra one over here, too. I guess the green here in this view indicates insulation. It's kind of cool. So we could actually, if we build out another whole square here, this could be a double door, but nobody really needs to get back to the hyperdrives most of the time, so it's probably not that necessary. Okay, and I think we're good to move on to the next sector. Well, let's get our... We're going to get our shuttle bay. Our next what's our new pod call by the way the osiris nice dig it is our current pod uh we probably want a vent here somewhere this could actually be a door let's make that a door my team's having breakfast let's prepare for lunch We're doing on base metals, we're fine. Saber's Guild ship coming in there too, so let's avoid that. Quick stop here for mining. Hopefully we can get the shuttle bay finished while we're in this sector so we can send two shuttles over to the derelict on the other ship in the next sector. And we've got two mining pods to run now, so we're gonna do twice as... Mining's gonna be twice as quick. What is this now? What on earth? There must be like smog in that area or something, right? It's smoke. Yeah, there's like hazardous gas. That's crazy. I don't think it's supposed to be lit up like that. I think that's a bug. I'm going to report that even though it looks cool.
That's so crazy. We've got like some dancing neon weirdness here. I'm gonna take a screenshot of that. Oh, let's get the space metal. Very short on logistics. This robot station is going to be a huge help. Uh, we um, put a door there now. All right, salvage robot station. Very sharp. Let's start cranking these out. What is this? Can't build in this spot for some reason. I think there's like a. No? I think that there's like something there, but there's nothing there. This is letting me do. Oh, there's an air vent there. No, there's not an air vent there. It looks like it's queued to build an air vent there, but it, there isn't one there currently. But I don't see one when I click on it, so I don't know. Okay, we're gonna make two robots to start with. Who's good at construction? Saul, so come do this. Build another shuttle. We can shut this off now. We got both of our X ones running, so this will be our backup. Waiting for this last infra block to get built. Let's also set a hyperfuel rule again, since we got plenty of. Hyperium. It's only cost us three Hyperium, and it's going to make us a lot of money. Okay, we're building. Oh, we got our second shuttle online. How about that? Shuttles are recalcitrant and candy. These are very different names. Let's check out the derelict. Maybe we still have to check this one out too. Got like two more derelicts in the sector to check out after this one. At least. Okay, so team one is going to be these four. Just saying the end of the day, so they're a little tired. We're going to be slightly careful with them. Team two is going to be Dolb.
and Gordon. Does Dolb have a rifle? Dolb does not have a rifle. Okay, team two is going to be Gordon. We could technically bring Helena, but she'll panic. I don't want to do that. Yeah, we could train... Eventually we could hopefully train Gordon up so that he can also use an assault rifle. So right now he's only a pistol. But then a little extra pistol could make a difference. You never know. Especially if you're fighting a lot of enemies. Could also potentially be our door opener. I think there's pretty much no more bad guys in this end of the ship. Check the other end. Oh, hello. You have a friend there. Did his friend have a friend? He did not have a friend. Easy peasy. No more crew members, sadly, now that we actually have the capacity to take them on. Get some water, that's pretty cool. Saves us a little bit of industry time. And it, we also get some fertilizer, which again saves us time. And we'll take a little bit of energy scrap with that. Some Hyperium, some Novo Metals. Alright, and I think we're going to wrap up... Uh, shoot. Okay, yeah, we're going to wrap up our... Space Haven session there for tonight. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you did, don't forget to subscribe. It's free if you're watching on YouTube, or uh, don't forget to follow if you're watching on Twitch. And I want to say thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a good whatever time of day it is there. <laughs>